Hi students, back with another grammar lesson. Um, hopefully some good practice for us looking at the verb of suppose as a main verb compared to using it in the passive with be supposed to and then comparing our adverb form of supposedly and the different ways that we use them in our sentences. So again, we're going to be looking at suppose comparing it to supposed to, and comparing that to our adverb form of supposedly. So we're starting with suppose as the main verb. Remember that suppose as a verb has a feeling of think, assume. Um, it could be think about the potential, think about a hypothetical, a possible situation. Um, some examples, scientists suppose that humans are causing irreparable damage to the environment. Let's suppose that. This is a very common way to say, let us. Let us make a hypothetical. Let us make a possible situation. Um, let's suppose that you are coming to English class on Saturday. What will you do? What will happen? Um, let's suppose that you find $100 on the ground. What would you do? It almost has a feeling of conditional of that possible, potential, when we use it as a main verb. We also see, um, oh, here, another example. Suppose you are living in, thinking about it like the if conditional. Suppose you are living in Fargo. What would you do on the weekends during the winter time? Suppose you are living in California. What would be different from your life living in Fargo? We also see suppose with that feeling of think, assume, as a feeling of I guess. I think so. I guess so. I suppose. We often hear people say, I suppose so. I suppose. Really, really cut, really reduced. I suppose so. Um, are you able to help me next weekend? Yeah, I suppose. Do you think you could help me move next week? I suppose so. I suppose not. I suppose not. Did she find what she was looking for? No, I suppose not, because she kept asking other people. Again, that feeling of think, assume, with main verb, suppose. When we see suppose with verb be, the verb be supposed to, I'm using this for a plan a future plan, or a plan for right now. It means that somebody else thinks I'm going to do it. So I am supposed to. I am supposed to visit my mom. It has a feeling of, this is the plan. Somebody else thinks I will visit my mom. It's similar to a passive, but it's not an exact passive tense. Um, I am supposed to visit my mom. It could be right now. It could be next week. I could use it for present or for future. They are supposed to travel next week. Here, the addition of next week gives that feeling of future. Very, very common to hear this with it. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. It's supposed to be a great day. It's supposed to be busy. It's supposed to snow next week. When we take be supposed to and we move it into the past, it changes the meaning. So for example, was supposed to gives the feeling of a plan that didn't happen. She was supposed to travel. It feels like for some reason she did not travel. They were supposed to work, but something, 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 something. It gives a feeling of they didn't work. It was the plan to work, but they didn't. Now, when I take was supposed to, and I make it negative, I flip it. It feels like it wasn't a plan. It was not a plan, but it did happen. I wasn't supposed to work today, but somebody else was sick. They called me. I came to work. I wasn't supposed to work. I wasn't supposed to be here today, 
but I needed to go. Da, 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 da. Somebody called me and I came. I wasn't supposed to be here today. It was not my plan, but I did. I was supposed to. My plan that didn't. I wasn't supposed to. Not my plan, but I did. The last piece for us to compare with this verb of suppose is the adverb supposedly. Supposedly. It gives a feeling of doubt about the verb. Um, for example, she called me yesterday. She was supposed to call me. She didn't call. She supposedly called me. Maybe she told me she called me, but I don't believe her. I doubt her. I don't see a call in my history. I think she's lying. She supposedly went to the store. She left the house. She told me she went. She didn't bring anything back. I didn't see her go. I feel doubt about if she went. She supposedly went to the store. Last year, there was supposedly a leak of information. The government is talking about missing information. Media is talking about missing information. Do I believe them? I don't trust them. There was supposedly a leak of information. The owners supposedly changed their policy. Did they change their policy? Didn't they change their policy? I don't know. Has this connection to the adverb of supposedly? The last thing for us to talk about is pronunciation. So my beautiful, clear pronunciation, suppose, supposed to, supposedly, 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 four pieces. My poor pronunciation, suppose, I suppose. She supposes she'll go. She supposes. Scientists supposed that. Scientists supposed that. Blah, blah, blah. That S and P connected. Supposed to. Supposed to. Supposed to. Supposed to. She's supposed to go. She's supposed to go. She is supposed to. She's supposed to go next week. I'm supposed to visit my mom. I'm supposed to visit my mom. I'm really supposed to do more exercise. I'm really supposed to do more exercise. Supposedly, supposedly, instead of supposedly, for supposedly, I have supposedly, three, supposedly. She supposedly called me, but mm, I don't believe her. The owners supposedly changed their policy, but do I believe it? Mm -mm. As always, you should be using these in sentences. Um, leave some sentences as comments underneath of the video. Try to use suppose as a main verb, meaning think. Be supposed to for your future plan. Was supposed to. Past didn't happen wasn't supposed to, not the plan, but did, and then supposedly as the adverb. But remember that it needs a main verb to connect with. She supposedly called. They supposedly went. They are supposedly gonna go. They're supposedly gonna go. They're gonna go, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Do I believe it? Mm -mm. As always, students, Make sure you're practicing these sentences. Um, practice some written sentences. Repo um, repost them down below so that I can give you some feedback. Practice them in your speaking. And we'll see you next time. Bye.